Come on, Randall, it's not even the first of the month yet. Don't worry, bartender. We decided to show up a few days early. That's not a problem, is it? Pour me a drink. Is this seat taken? Hey, boys, cut it out. I just cleaned up this morning. Hey, hey, hey. This is my bar, remember? So my boys can do whatever the hell they'd like. So why don't you just shut up and pour me a damn drink? Oh, don't forget about my lady. Would you like a drink, darling? I'll take two drinks of the good stuff. <laughs> you hear that? She would like two drinks. Hey, bartender. That guy's got a funny look. You mean Jerry? He's a lazy eye. He's not giving you a funny look, Virgil. Maybe I don't want him here. Randall, we haven't had time to gather the money yet. You're early. Patience, sweetheart. We got plenty of time. I don't mind staying in this town for a few nights longer. Got a few fun things we could do while we're here. What is this filth? I didn't bust my balls providing for this town so you can serve me piss. Are you trying to make a fool out of me? You make yourself look like a fool, Randall. That's funny, Sheriff. You just remember who pays you every month. Meant nothing by it. Just don't need you causing a ruckus in my town. Your town? This is my town, Sheriff. I own this town. And all the ones around it. You know, I can get that badge taken off you and have you thrown in jail. Just for speaking to me with your stupid voice. So what was that again, Sheriff? Do what you want, Randall. It's your town. <laughs> Damn right it's my town. Barkeep. Let's get Sheriff a drink. And a round of shots for me and my boys. Sheriff's treat. <laughs> Why, thank you, Sheriff. <laughs> my bartender. Where were we? He was trying to make you look like a fool. Thank you, Virgil. You were trying to make me look like a fool. Look, Randall, I wasn't trying to make you look like a fool. Sheriff! 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 Famous John Doe has just been spotted down the road. Slow your words, Gerald. What are you talking about? Jimmy saw him a half a mile down by Gammon's Gulch. He's with a woman, the John Doe. John Doe isn't a name, stupid. It's a person. Shut up, Dale. John Doe is a myth. Yeah, a myth with a $50,000 bounty. $50,000? Highest I've seen in these parts is 10,000. What makes this John Doe so special? Anyone who has ever knowingly encountered John Doe has been killed there right where he stands. If no one's lived, how do you know who it is, stupid? Dale, I'm gonna come over there and knock your teeth in. Like to see you try. Shut up! You hear that, boys? Looks like we got ourselves a new bounty. Now do we know who's the right person? Old man Jimmy said he survived facing off with John Doe. Well, that's good enough for me. Earl, Billy, you're with me. Let's go get this so-called John Doe. Woo! Let's kill him. Bartender, I expect that round of shots on the sheriff when we get back. <laughs> Let's go. Well, I'll be damned. Gossip was right. Let's get him. Whoa! Well, well, well. If it isn't this John Doe I've heard so much about crossing our path. Excuse me? What are they talking about, Johnny? That's okay, ma'am. You'll be safe with us. That there man be a wanted criminal. Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Listen, mister. We ain't trying to cause no trouble. Well, you found it. You boys are in trouble now. Quiet, Margaret. I don't think you realize who you're talking to. I don't think you do. If I was the three of you, I'd be turning around and heading back to town. It's three against one. So the odds are in my favor. Now let's not blow things out of proportion. We just came here to talk. We've talked enough. 
Best be getting out of our way if you want to see the stars tonight. Billy, Earl, you heard the man. We best be leaving. Stop! Please don't do this! The famous John Doe. Well, this was quite the letdown. I expected more of a challenge. I guess that makes you the quickest gunslinger, huh, boss? Yes, it does, Billy. Yes, it does. Earl, grab the girl. It's time to get that round of drinks we're promised. We got him, boys! We'll collect our bounty after we collect the money from this crap town. Hey, you watch how you talk about this good town, you hear? How would you like a bullet in that face of yours? Shut up! Now this is a celebration of our victory. The famous John Doe has been taken care of by Joe Randall. So, how'd you do it, Randall? What? Kill the legend, John Doe? So there we was. Came up on Doe. Well, he started smart talking Randall. Tried to draw on us. But Randall, no, he's, he's the quickest that there is. He took him out before he could even clear leather. Well, I just can't believe you were able to kill her. What did you say? I said, I just can't believe you were able to kill her. Him. We killed him. No, John Doe's a woman. I believe some people call her Jane Doe. Oh, shoot. We killed the wrong person. Shut up, Billy. How do you know it's a woman? Everyone knows that. Sheriff? It's true. Thought you knew that, Randall. You're a smart guy. You mean that girl we put in the jailhouse? I say you go kill her. You can't go killing an innocent woman. My man Randall can do whatever he pleases in his town. He don't need some whore telling him what to do. Especially with $50,000 on the line, darling. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just have to kill her then, just to be sure. Earl, Wyatt, you're with me. Craig, spread some men in the town. I don't want this going sideways. Aw, oh, hell. Get more men on the street. You put on quite the show back there, little lady. We know you're the real John Doe. No, 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 honey. I'm Jane Doe. John is my brother. We're a duo. Well, then who was that fella you was riding with? Ex-lover. All you did was save me a bullet. Well, then who's your brother? You've unknowingly met him many times. He's been right in front of your ugly pig trough of a face. Letting you pick on him, letting you pick on this town. Just waiting for the perfect opportunity to take you and your boys down. I didn't know I had a bounty. All the towns you own are sick of you and your men. You go from town to town killing innocent people, messing with women, treating it all like it's your property. It is my property. I own this land. Your daddy owns this land, but he ain't alive no more thanks to you. At least people respected him. Well, my daddy was a coward. He can never take over this land like I have. You're done, Randall. You'll never get past my man alone. I'm not alone, honey. I told you. John's out there. Don't worry. I'm leaving the kill for him. Now, if you'll excuse me, this little lady needs to say hello to some other man. Hey! I told you to play something better. What are you, you deaf? You old drunk? Knock it off, Virgil. What's that, bartender? I think... <laughs> I think you best remember whose town this is. If this was my town, you'd be out of a job. You'd be out of a lot of things. Get out of my face, Virgil. What's that? <laughs> Get your gun away from my face. Uh. Well, pour me another drink, and I might.
Thanks, Pops. I've been waiting a long time to do that. <laughs> this. Now you may not know this, but your beloved bartender is a cold-blooded killer. That's right. Also known as John Doe. He's killed men, women, and even children just for the fun of it. And I reckon that's a, a $50,000 bounty right there, ain't it? <laughs> now I promise the first person to kill this man gets 10%. Joe Randall, you're wanted. Dead or alive. Or 25%, huh? Now that is me being generous, people. 45%, come on! Come on, John, we can... We can work something out, we can settle this like men. Randall, ever since you shot your father, these townspeople have been looking for a way to get you out of town. Is that true? You planned this? Started six months back. All I needed were three things. First, a place in this town I knew you'd visit every time you ride in. Second, a townsperson who believes everything he hears, especially when money is involved. And third, the sheriff, as an ally. It's true. I thought you knew that, Randall. You're a smart guy. Randall, drop your weapon. Nice and easy. All right, Sheriff. You win. John, I'll drop my gun. I'm going to pull it out slow as molasses. All right, I am unarmed. Turn myself in. There it is. I don't want to die today, John. You got me. Sheriff, Joe Randall, $25,000 bounty. It's yours. Give it to the town. Well, thank you, John. Here. The town's yours. Appreciate it, Sheriff, but we got other towns to help out. 